Welcome to 5 Minute School. Today's video will be discussing the reaction steps of gluconeogenesis. In the previous video we discussed the substrates involved, they were amino acids, lactate and glycerol. The products of these substrates enter the gluconeogenesis uh, pathway at different stages. So amino acids form oxaloacetates which enter at this point here and glycerol forms dihydroxyacetone phosphate which can enter at this point here. Now today we're going to discuss the gluconeogenesis pathway from pyruvate. So pyruvate is converted into oxaloacetate using the enzyme pyruvate carboxylase. And this enzyme requires a coenzyme known as biotin to function. And when there's an environment of high ATP hydrolysis, it favors the formation of a pyruvate carboxylase biotin carbon dioxide intermediate, which is high energy and this carboxylates pyruvate into oxaloacetate. This reaction occurs in the mitochondria. Now we have high levels of oxaloacetate into the in the mitochondria, sorry, and it must be converted into phosphoenol pyruvate. However, this conversion occurs in the cytosol. So we must move oxaloacetate into the cytosol. So now we have high levels of oxaloacetate. It's converted into phosphoenol pyruvate using the enzyme uh, phosphoenol pyruvate carboxykinase and this reaction requires GTP to be conver converted into GDP. Now at this point here the reaction steps is just the reverse of glycolysis all the way to fructose 1,6 bisphosphate and from here um, th we have a separate enzyme which is different to the phosphofructase kinase 1 of glycolysis. We have a uh, fructose 1,6 bisphosphatase and this bypasses, bypasses the irreversible reaction of glycolysis. So now we have fructose 6 bisphosphate which is converted into glucose 6 phosphate using the same enzyme as glycolysis and from here we have glucose 6 phosphate which is converted into free glucose using the enzyme glucose 6 phosphatase. Um, now this bypasses the irreversible hexokinase reaction of glycolysis and uh, an important thing to note is the liver and the kidneys are the only organs which produce this free glucose so they have this glucose 6-phosphatase available. That's everything on the reaction steps of gluconeogenesis and in the next video we'll be discussing the regulation. Thanks for watching.